when I read the book, I had really strong images kind of stuck with me and a, and a kind of feeling and a sense of what the tone should be, which is where I usually start and, and just a kind of an emotional register that the film would be in. I've always been a little bit fascinated by some of the true stories that were coming out around the time the novel was coming out as well, but it, it, it really didn't occur to me that it would work in a visual medium. You spend 40, 50 minutes, the first half of the film will be in a room. I've never done anything quite like that. Ethan Tobin, the designer of the film, and Danny Cohen, the DP, we worked for a long time and in great detail, particularly on the room. How realistic versus how kind of fantastical do you make it? I was pretty clear from the beginning that I wanted it to feel very truthful and realistic. More so than any film I've ever worked on, the inspiration for the design process on this came from research. I found myself pulling obvious references like the Fitzel dungeon, J.C. Dugard's residence, um, Ariel Castro's home, as well as the incredibly small apartments in Hong Kong and how people managed to live in tiny spaces. So it became sort of a meditation on what to do in a tiny space and how people live with limited resources. Yeah, why don't you make a UFO out of this? So we sort of started with a very broad canvas and it became a bit of a creative experiment of what we would do ourselves if we were stuck in a small environment with a child. 